Hello, family and friends. Well, as my family and friends know, this is not something I would normally do. I don't even FaceTime. But today, I felt a little lightness within me. I wanted to share a word with somebody out there that might need a little encouragement because I know sometimes I do. A lot of times I need encouragement. But today, I just kind of want to lift a word out here that to, to tell someone out here that... um. There might be something in your life right now that you need to be letting go of. Um, and you won't know the realness of joy until you let go of that thing, whatever it might be. Um, I won't ask you in detail what it is that you got going on that might be best for you to let go. It's not my business, but I know there are things in my life that come up often. Might be new things I picked up. Might be something I've been caring for a long time, hadn't let go of. But I know that when the time comes and I have goals in mind, places I want to go, people I want to see, things I want to do, some of those things are being held back from me because I'm holding on to something that I need to let go of. So here we go. It starts there. Once we put it in our mindset, that there's something bigger than that one thing that we're holding on to and we learn the process of elimination on what is good for me and what is not good for me what's holding me back and what I know I need to do in order to get rid of sometimes you can get rid of in a day you can decide today first that you don't want to have this thing in your life but then there might be steps that you might need to make before you let go. So take those things into consideration as well that some things just don't go over way, away overnight. Some things may take work and preparation and God will definitely have you. You just need to keep in mind that with your faith in his word and his promise that once you let him have those problems, give them to God, he got you. He's going to catch you. You will never fall. And he will always prepare you and equip you with the things that you need to go where you are trying to go. You might think you have your shit together, that you got it all lined up. Guess what? God got a plan. Sometimes you might be halfway in the process of what you might think might be your ultimate thing but something pops up so what do you do you're gonna have to divert your whole plan you may have to stop midway and take a whole different direction not knowing sometimes just trusting in God means not knowing where you're gonna next it's always not known because I can't say you're gonna have to just trust in the pen that you are equipped you are enough you can move and regardless of what people say somebody got your back you are never alone so in the process of having to stop midway of your plans you may find that you're not going exactly where you thought you were going you may find that something else has come in to fruition for you and it's going to be as good as you thought what you had in mind you just have to have faith in it and let it play itself out. But first and foremost, you need to sacrifice. You need to let go. Have faith in God. Keep it moving. And don't let nobody tell you that you can't do it. Stay blessed and take care. Bye.